Are you thinking about buying a harp for your wife? Well then this video is for you. I'm going to help you figure it out. So today I'm talking to Ed who says that buying a harp is not that different to buying a set of golf clubs and you can apply his advice to buying equipment from whatever hobby you know most about. But if you're thinking, I wish she would just tell me the short version of which harp she recommends, then you can click the link in the top right hand corner of the video now. But let's get to the interview. Hello everyone, I'm Christy Lynn from Learning the Harp and today we're talking about purchasing a harp for your wife. So we've got a harp husband here, Ed Schneider, and he's going to tell us his experience of purchasing a harp for his wife Diana for her birthday and the lessons that he learned along the way. If you have something that you really enjoy and like, you'll spend more time with it, you'll, you'll get better at it, and you will enjoy it more. I'm a, I'm a golfer at heart, and I've played golf most of my life. I started out with a, a very small set of golf clubs, played with those, and I could tell I needed improvement, so I kept buying more clubs more clubs you know the first set of golf clubs I think I paid fifty dollars for time, by the time it was all over with I probably had four thousand dollars invested in golf clubs mm -hmm. the lesson learned if I in my idea if you're gonna be continuous in pursuit of a field or whether it be golf or harps start out with a little bit better harp and mm -hmm. that way it saves a lot of money in the long run what was your process of purchasing a harp for your wife? It was a uh, birthday time, so I decided uh, my wife had been talking about playing the harp for many years, and so I decided to surprise her with a harp. So Best surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and so I finally uh, found one on Craigslist. It was a small harp, but it, it looked nice. It looked mm -hmm. nice. And so... I had no experience of buying harps and know anything about anything about harps, but he wanted three hundred dollars for it, so I gave him three hundred dollars, thinking this is a good deal. Mm -hmm. Well, she, she got this harp and she played it, even took lessons with it, and it sounded not that great. <laughs> so we decided, okay, let's. Let's improve our situation, and we we decided to rent a harp, a big one, for a month. Mm. Well, uh, we didn't like the sound of that either. So <laughs> finally, uh, we got to a situation where we thinking ah, maybe a, a a better harp would sound so much better. So uh, in the process, we have recently bought her a much more expensive harp. It was right right at $3,000 or so, which is the best thing we've ever done. She uses it, practices every, and does very well nowadays. I mean, there's not a day go by that she doesn't uh, play the harp, so she mm -hmm. really enjoys it. The, the good part about getting a, the good sound out of a harp is that I listen to it from the other room, so <laughs> we, we both uh, enjoy the harp. So you benefit from the better harp too. <laughs> That's right. We always talk about new songs that she's learning and, and she enjoys talking with me and I enjoy talking with her about it. So it's mm -hmm. it's something that it's really been a very good investment. Wonderful. Thanks so much to Ed. So if you'd like more information on what harp to buy, you can watch this video over here. If you'd like to get that short version on which harps I recommend, you can click the link up here. And if you'd like to give an extra free gift to your wife, you can send her to this video where I give a free download of an easy harp piece and help her avoid a common mistake when learning the harp. Thanks so much and all the best with buying that harp. Bye!